I do know of a team that's building a new system which will compete with Revit directly and will be very cheap and will solve a lot of the problems. So, you know, we watch that space carefully. I don't think Revit is flexible enough to, it's, it's three million lines of C++ and not everyone, it's difficult to get your head around. It was difficult enough originally. It's going to take a new system and it will merge, bring together everything in a very intimate way. One of the problems with Revit is that when you ex export IFCs, industry foundation classes, they're actually quite dumb. There's no linking, there's no information, no parametrics. This is a 3D model, but you know, it's, it's not sufficient in order to do anything useful. And if you want something useful to go into your HVAC or into your heating model, then you need more information than is available. IFC is, yeah, I agree with you, not there exactly taking the um, software, exact software data and doing it in the most efficient way. But still, like many people still don't use IFC workflow. They either prefer native software. If they are Revit users, they want to stick with the other Revit users and they want to collaborate like that. But recently, in a couple of years, uh, industry, like market, other, other software vendors, really started to market themselves, really started to put some effort and they started to uh, penetrate the market more efficiently, providing better tools. We are seeing other startup companies that are providing new tools, new sort of products into the market. But one of the problems they're having is that people are having to copy a whole model out, change it, add to it, to get it to work in another system. That does not work and that's expensive and to copy, I mean, it's not just an IFC model, they need more information. The lowest common denominator of a 3D model is not sufficient. If you want to do a structural program, you have to be able to pull out much more information. And the BIM model has that, but the IFC model is 10% of what's in there. You need the connectivity, pipe connections, if you've got duct worker, are sort of obvious and sort of not. But within the BIM model, you can actually do the flow calculations. You can size it automatically and stay within the regulation. No way can you do that in the... IFC model. So if, if you want to do an, a duct network analysis, you're adding information once you get it out of the BIM model. That's wrong. That shouldn't be like that. That is anathema to BIM. That means you've got the copy of the data, which is, um, I mean, it's a common source of data, sure, but it, you're copying the data each time you want to put it into a different system. That can't go on. And one of the big pushbacks from users well, one of the many pushback from users is, is doing that. They don't want to copy the data, add to it to get it to work in another system. They just want it just to work. What I'm suggesting is that by bringing, the, making the connections better and tighter, there are ways to do that which are not obvious. Then you can have the two systems or all those systems working. And I know that's what this other team is working on. With the IFC, started other vendors started to like rise a bit and saying, "Hey, we are here as well. We can provide, we can collaborate with IFC." So they are trying to like kind of move the monopoly system into distributed to more smaller vendors. And I think this is very important because if this is really done, I think the market will really compete and we will get better products and better results for us as well and faster development because the industry will start marketing them. I agree with you. I mean, you do need some sort of basic transfer, but it is it an answer to the problem? No, it, it solves, it's a Band-Aid. It's when you're bleeding to death, the Band-Aid's not going to help you. And I think it's pretty much that. I think it needs a tighter integration the way you're talking about. And then with that, you will have this ability to communicate and collaborate. I, I, I don't think IFC will change much more unless Autodesk allow it. Autodesk might do a lot better by allowing us direct access into their database and the parametrics and the connections. But then they give away the baby with the bathwater if you do that. They have to guard their intellectual property. I know exactly what their intellectual property is because I wrote the original ones in the 80s and 90s and they acquired those um, indirectly. So let's, you know, let's have a go. I think there's a huge amount of experience gone into Autodesk, huge amount into AutoCAD, into Revit in particular, and we can learn from that. But we've also learned the problems and we can hear, we hear very clearly a very loud noise of the users screaming about the problems in Revit, about the complexity, about the 
inability to grow, the size of the databases, all of this. There's a whole range of issues uh, which people are complaining about. We can address those and learn the lessons they've learned. There's, I think there's a huge amount of work to get there, but I can think I can see ways it can be done. Why don't you check our talk with Jonathan Ingram? We also have an amazing playlist for you. We're trying to give you maximum value by inviting credible guests. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you get instant notification as soon as we schedule something and we publish something.